Hello to our fans online. I'm Marcy Gonzalez. And I'm John Muller with the top stories on this Monday, April 8th. President Obama will be in Hartford, Connecticut today, making a big push for gun control. He is making an appeal to Congress to take action as lawmakers return to work this week. Meanwhile, two senators, one from each party, are working on an agreement to expand background checks on gun purchases. The crackdown would be on customers trying to buy firearms at gun shows or from online vendors. There are serious concerns this morning about a new strain of the deadly bird flu virus. The outbreak centers on eastern China, where poultry markets have been closed down, the birds inside being slaughtered. 21 people have gotten sick at, and six have died. The biggest concern is that if the virus mutates again and is then able to pass from person to person, we have no natural immunity and there is no vaccine yet to fight it. Roger Ebert being remembered later today at a memorial service in Chicago. The movie critic died last week after a long battle with cancer. The service at a downtown cathedral is open to the public. Another tribute is scheduled for Thursday. Ebert was 70 years old. And what an amazing scene at the University of Nebraska. Seven-year-old Jack Hoffman, who is battling brain cancer, got on the field with his heroes, the <laughs> university's football team. And it was the end of the Husker Spring scrimmage. Jack took the handoff and just started running. And once he started, he did not stop. Jack went 69 yards for a very memorable touchdown. The crowd of 60,000 roared for him. So happy for you, Jack. That is awesome. That is just a great story. Love it. And you can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Marcy Gonzalez. I'm John Muller. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.